Wow, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think it should ever be about gender. And you're buying yourself a ticket to a nightmare in three weeks. So a lot of drinking. Dumplings. Wait, no therapy. This is such a current movie dealing with really relevant themes. One of them is about power and finance. Men and women every day have to navigate who is going to pick up the check. <laughs> so as you navigate your own lives, how do you deal with your in power positions? Mm. But your friends also want to pick up the check or don't. <laughs> How do you deal with it? I, I think it's case by case. Yeah. You know, I think sometimes I you, you kind of feel it out in every, whatever the uh, circumstances are of whether you feel like um, it's a nice thing to be able to do. It is like a gift, you know, to be able to do that. And it also depends on uh, who the person you're with is and how much money they have and where you went and who chose the restaurant mm -hmm. and what you ordered. Who invited who? Who invited who? Why you're getting together? Um, I don't think it should ever be about gender. Personally, I think it should always be a case by case. If they had just spoken directly to each other right. instead of suppressed everything, mm. it would have been a totally different film. In fact, no, they didn't. But how good are you? at going to those difficult moments and saying, you know, I'll do this. The communication aspect of the movies is instrumental to why this all goes to hell mm -hmm. as much as anything else. I mean, mm -hmm. if they were able to communicate, and I think primarily, probably primarily on Luke's end, um, the inability to acknowledge what's happening because there's so much shame around it, and you just, and I've been a part of lots of professional situations, course a million personal situations where you just go it feels too wrong and too bad to bring this up so I'm not going to mm -hmm. and you're buying yourself a ticket to a nightmare in three weeks so, so um <laughs> yeah yeah and s lack of sleep I mean yeah it's exhausted by the end of the film yeah exactly you're drinking you're eating a lot of drinking dumplings waking up at 4 a.m you know yeah, exactly no therapy yeah neither of them yeah. So how do you guys, because you live these characters, how do you release at the end of the day? Mm. Um, and, and also, you deal with a physical, you expose yourself physically, you're dealing emotionally, yeah. and then you've got a, you fight each other. So which was the scariest for you to go into of those scenes? I think I blocked most of it out of my <laughs> psyche. No, um, I, every day was was a challenge, really, every day. Uh, there isn't kind of, there wasn't a dull moment on set. Every day I remember I'd go to bed and be like, oh my God, I've got that scene tomorrow. Mm. Um, and <laughs> it, you know, from beginning, from the beginning of the shoot to the end, um, every day there was, there was something that I was terrified of doing. Um, and completing every day equally was was so thrilling and such a joy. I mean, we created such a safe space um, and it, yeah. it was really, I mean, so important and that we were able to because it would have been very hard had we not. But um, Chloe and Alden and I just, you know, we had a week of rehearsals to really get to know one another and, and figure out what was important to us and, um, and so that really helped as well because we felt very safe, I think, with each other. Um, but in terms of, I mean, we, we, you know, we shot in Serbia in the dead of winter. Um, and it, so it kind of was all encompassing. There wasn't really an escape um, from the, the movie <laughs> in that regard. Uh, so I think I would just kind of go home and, and have a hot shower and, and just get nervous about the, the next day. Um, <laughs> yeah. All you know, these things affect you, or playing in all these other realms affect you, mm -hmm. and there's there's some ways that are challenging about that. There's also ways in which it really varies. Your you get to live this variety of different lives over the course of your career. That's really exciting. You get to learn about these different worlds and do all this stuff. And there is a kind of a, for me at least, on some level, there's a magical way in which it does leave you. 
um, afterwards, maybe more mm. gracefully than you expect. You know, you get kind of afraid that this is going to, and, and it's not to say there aren't residual things. I've had things, you know, things affect me for a long time, but in, a, in another sense, it does go, go away because this is play, uh, you know, at the end that we are safe. Um, it isn't an actual um, event in your life. The, these events are not happening to you in that way. So you get to kind of, yeah, play in it in these intensities and then and then leave them. Thank you both so much. Pleasure. Thank you. Thank nice you. to talk to you.